Let's talk about Last Epoch, shall we? For those of you who don't know, the game came out with its full release 1.0 last week on February 21st. And of course, with the release of the game, there were a bunch of players that were hyped to play it, which made the game jump from 22,000 concurrent players all the way up to 150,000. And the crazy thing is that it kept growing despite its massive online problems. And that were massive server issues. There it is. All right, we in. But that ultimately meant that almost no one could play online. Or if you played online, you would have to wait a very long time to load between zones. Uh, what is happening? Let me in. Any moment we're going to get in. Any moment. Surely you have lost connection to the game server, which forced a bunch of gamers to consider playing on offline mode, a mode where you don't have to connect to the servers. But the downside is that you can only play alone. The fact that there is a truly offline mode, even in the game is a very cool thing in my opinion because not everyone wants an online mod and there are some people that actually appreciate this hi ehg team i wanted to thank you for a true offline mode being able to play it at the airport feels awesome however unfortunately it seems like even in offline mode there are problems about the game on release day the only uh, the online is still not working two days after the release i tried to play offline but i can't progress due to a broken quest now this this sucks of course right this is is bad but at least <laughs> the game even offers offline mode not like you know some other games <laughs> uh, well, again we don't talk about those games so of course that is not for everyone the majority of people would like to play online or play with their friends which is understandable of course however the server issues now while some would expect them on day one they kept going through the days we started on wednesday then we went through thursday friday saturday even sunday and even to this day the server issues have not been fully resolved and of course a bunch of players were very angry about this well because they took their time off work probably you know they told their friends and family hey i'm gonna i'm gonna be playing this game don't freaking contact me don't message me just leave me alone and let me play the game please and so of course of course they were angry that they couldn't play together with their friends or just in online mode, ranking against other players. These issues were apparently already present in the early access mode of the game, however, not as severe as they have been now. Yo, I just had a bad thought, bro. Cause we had the same issue during the early access patch, whatever the fuck it was, right? What if they knew it was still fucked and then they gassed it up and then just fucking sold it as many as they could. And now they're just doing damage control for no, as long as they can until no, the player that, can't no, go no, down Quinn, the system. No, they, it, listen, they are inexperienced. It's not like they just wanted a quick, quick cash grab because it's more beneficial for you to have a working game. They probably saw the same issue on the patch, like he says, right? Um, that is probably true. And then they hoped they fixed it for launch and it didn't work their fix didn't work it's not like they didn't do anything you know like some other developers when you know you want more stash tabs and uh, the problem is present in 2019 and then you make a new game and a new engine you take all of the code from the previous engine and the stash tabs still don't work you know but it, i it's not the same as a developer myself i can fully understand that these guys probably thought they had a very good solution at their hand but they just miscalculated or they didn't see some other errors coming in or problems coming in that they now need to fix essentially and with them being scattered throughout the world i don't know how they are set up or how the manpower is distributed among the different countries but you can go to their website and then scroll down you can find a list of people where they live and where they work and what they do uh, <laughs> this is even worse 
if they're all home office like now that they're, they're like probably sitting in like a zoom call it's like hey pop man the servers don't work what am i supposed to do and he's like in the kitchen you know making some food like, listen bro i have no clue i made the characters look cool bro like what am i supposed to do with these I, that's not my field i'm just a developer man you gotta go somewhere else <laughs> then he you know he calls up jimmy he's like hey jimmy man the servers they're fucking like too much bro like hell where do we get new ones yeah can you come over here i need your help wait let me go on my boat it's like it's <laughs> going on oh you can't see but there's one right here you know it's like going all the way i'm on my way bran that he's probably right here like he's he came on friday right so dude you gotta come over for the weekend all right bro i'm on my way i'm on my way i'm coming <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where they are located, right? All of these different developers, I don't know how much they contribute to problem solving, but I would assume that if you are a developer that has been working on the game, maybe even the servers, and you are not present in the main office, well, maybe there can be some communication issues. Maybe. I'm not saying that is the reason why that is. Just something that we should take into consideration. And so, yeah, the backlash from the community was very hard and it turned last epoch from mostly positive into a mixed reviewed game now i'm assuming that these reviews will go up in the future but the crazy thing is that the game despite its problems it has been growing in player numbers. We can see that on release, it went up from 20,000 all the way up to 150,000. And then over the days, even though there were a bunch of server issues, it kept going up and up, getting close to even 300,000. Now, obviously, now is Monday and the drop is going to go even further down because people are back to work. However, it's crazy that at this time, there are still so many players playing the game. And in part, the reason for that is probably because the development team of last year has been very transparent about their situation and their problems about what they're going to do and what they are trying we can see that the latest post was made on february 24th with them stating that they are developing a back-end fix aimed at solving some of the connection issues however unfortunately that was not very well received or it didn't work out very well because if we go to the mixed reviews it really hurts to leave a negative review here it really does but i've owned this game since november 2022 whatever server fix they put out today february 25th completely wiped my entire online character list it seems like they <laughs> They are digging themselves into a deeper and deeper hole, unfortunately, with them just trying to fix the game. Which is very unfortunate, because I think the game is really good. I'm going to play it myself now, because I was expecting some server issues, and I, <laughs> luckily I didn't have much time on my hand, so I couldn't play on release. But I'm really excited to play, because I, what I've seen so far, man... <laughs> I really want to try it out. Feel free to join me over on Twitch. I will play it today and see how far I can get. I will most likely try out on Solo Cell Found Hardcore. Now, I have never played the game before. I didn't watch any tutorials, nothing. So this is going to be a completely blind playthrough. But I am a PoE veteran, right? So I should be good. But anyways, the unfortunate situation is that the server issues still remain. And I'm probably going to experience that myself. I will be playing on online mode of course um, just want to see what it means to play online and maybe if i have the same issues as other players have if we scroll through reddit and take a look it's mostly filled with excitement but also with negativity but it seems like it's dying down a little bit as the servers get a little better at the end of the day i'm very happy that there is another game out there that gives competition not only to path of exile but also diablo 4 because deep down i still hope that with this competition diablo 4 will hopefully do some meaningful changes that make the gameplay or the game in general much more enjoyable and long lasting as it stands right now now obviously the game is not bad at all but it's it doesn't capture you for a long time it doesn't do that just like poe does and poe unfortunately is not beginner friendly enough for most people to get into it has this huge barrier in the top that you have to overcome and it takes oftentimes it takes multiple tries to do that while last Epoch, on the other hand, is much easier to get into, so I've heard. I've not tried it yet, as you know, but I will find out for myself. And with that being the case, 
then maybe it can be a big competitor to Diablo 4 at least and then hopefully bring some changes to Diablo 4 so that we have a bunch of ARPGs to enjoy not only Path of Exile for a long time and last epoch maybe anyways just wanted to talk about this see you all in the game hope you have fun and hopefully the servers will be fixed soon Peace. what they need to do right is they need to find a problem right okay they need to find a problem okay and then they need to fix the problem and then we can play <laughs>